this is a problem that people are dealing with all over the world. Alcohol can damage almost any part of the fetus, but its prime target is the brain. So alcohol causes brain damage in the unborn child. It can be a real model for the world on how we approach fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. The problem with the damage caused by alcohol in the unborn child is it doesn't go away. Once the brain is damaged, it's damaged for life. The kids have terrible trouble with development and short-term memory and difficulty focusing, attention deficit disorders, and they are almost impossible to teach. And certainly there are 20% of kids who are very badly affected by fetal alcohol. Suspension data comes across my desk and I see kids as young as in year two and year one being suspended and you know I ask myself you know is this linked in any way to FASD? Of a large cohort of children with fetal alcohol syndrome 90% of them were not able to live and work independently as adults. Furthermore about 60% of them had had contact with the law or had been imprisoned. Women will do anything in their powers to have a normal child. They just need to know that alcohol can cause damage. A lot of women doesn't know. And till today, they still don't know. They don't know what alcohol does when they're pregnant. We want to educate the community. It is a condition that we can prevent. We've really got to act on this issue now. There are too many children in Australia who've been affected by alcohol and what we've really got to do is prevent the next generation of damaged children. We know that we can help these children to achieve their potential, but we will never undo the damage. We found from our focus group work in Indigenous women that one of their major concerns is that children who can't learn properly, children who don't have good memories, can't pass on the culture from one generation to the, to the next. I see here in Fitzroy Crossing the capability, the desire, the drive, the leadership, everything that's really needed to push this issue forward. And I think in the end, everyone will be thanking Fitzroy Crossing. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for uh, helping us ourselves to recognize what these issues are and how they affect every person in this country.